Check it out. Man is waiting to kill himself. Whoa. Once more again, shame come to the black man. As I've been saying, something is wrong with the mind of the black man. Shame came to us again. Did you see what take place? And it's going to be continuing taking place with our people. No matter where you go, it's going to take place with our people. Yes. Because our people are not learning. They are not learning. But you know what is funny? This case is, a, is something else. The man went into court and he did not say nothing. And he have all these charges against him. And he's smiling. Like, hey, it's not a, it's not a big thing. And that's what our people do all the time. Regardless if he did it or not. <clears throat> that's not the place to smile. No, that's not the place to smile, brothers. Because the white man is stringing you up. And you don't smile when they're stringing you up. Hello? Don't smile. 60 people said you you do something to them and you're smiling. Huh? 60 people said I did something to them and I'm smiling. And I don't go and defend myself from these 60 people. Some of them look like men. And some of them look like, I don't know. No, they say this man is a predator because he likes to have sexual intercourse with toxicated women. And that's how we get his kicks. But he's not defending himself. If he get is a woolly man. And once you forget he's a woolly man, anything can happen at any time. Anything can happen to my people at any time. Because if he get that he's a woolly man and he goes off with all these white people, white ladies, one black one is there. And she's a yellow skin too. But the point what I'm making, these things take place about 20, 14 years ago, and all of a sudden, they accuse this man. He has sex with six, sexual intercourse with 60 female, and not one of them get pregnant. And not one of them do abortion. And if he toxicate them to get sexual intercourse, he get it to the great extent. Because there's no movement in their doing beside him. And he can position them the way he want him to be. And he can get his full desire. And I think most times that's how ladies get pregnant. They're helpless. And the man will take all type of stuff to these women. But everybody
everybody start talking now after the case is over. <clears throat> Why they were not talking before the case? I, I told a lot of people, look, this man is going to go to prison. He's going to die in prison. It doesn't it does matter how much money he have. Use all the white system. And you have to obey the law as Negro or the woolly man. If you don't obey the law as a woolly man, they strap you up. Huh? What do you think they're going to do with you? They're going to strap you up. Because guess what? You're trying to break the law. You know what I mean? You're breaking the laws of their doing. They don't want, they do not want any black men to be breaking the laws. No. So what do you think? He's going to go to prison and he's going to be just like the rest of people up in there. No special favors. Unless hope some of those messed up guys up in there don't do crazy stuff to him. Because in prison they don't like rapists. And that's what I'm saying. Shame come to us again. So when you're going to learn black men? So you should take heed all you black men that is going off with all these white women. You need to take heed. And it can happen to you too. Don't believe it can happen to you. Because it's happened to this great, great comedian, it also can happen to you. So if you think it cannot happen to you, you're wasting your time. Because you are in, you are in to the white man world. And once you realize that, you are going to take ease. Yes, you're going to take heed. You're in the white man world. Don't come up in here and hack like you're in your own world. <coughs> Our world is in the motherland. But you are not overstanding what anyone is saying to you. As you get a few dollars, you want to run off to the white ladies. There's a bunch of pretty black ladies with some decency. There's a lot of black ladies with decency out there. Some are messed up. Some of the men are messed up. But the point what I'm making, stuff goes off with all these white women. I made a mistake when I was 25 years of age. I goes off with one of them. And all I have was headache. Those people are demon possessed, man. Come on now. These black men think when they all a white woman in their hand, they think they're all one of God's family. Or the Jesus family. And they're glad to have a white woman. It's a shame. Glad to have a white woman. Why you want to have a white woman? When we have a lot of black pretty ladies. And they are educated. Some of them into the white man's standard of education. So why you want to go off with the white woman? When you have your pretty black ladies, she is strong, she's durable. Why? 
And later on, they cause you a lot of problems. They are not everlasting. They're going to cause you a problem. And you see the problem that this gentleman is having right now? At his age, he should not be in prison. Regardless what he did. At his age, he should be home, going on vacation, any place he want to go. If he, if he have kids, I don't know, or grandkids, play with them. Now he's going to go where a bunch of criminals are. And he was not a criminal. Now he becomes a criminal. Huh? Now he becomes a criminal because 60 ladies said he sexually assault them and intoxicate them with all type of drugs. Now, my question is when these ladies have been intoxicated and he sexually assault these ladies I know when they wake up they have to feel something their drawers got to be wet or they don't have any drawers on and they have not said anything to no police they just want to take the black man down but he didn't defend himself he didn't come to see me. If he didn't come to see me, he would defend himself. Sometimes you have to use magical power to get rid of these demons. You got to use magical power to get rid of these demons. And if you don't, you're going to be stuck like a band-aid. Because you are the woolly man living into a white society that control your mind and your body. But by you don't know that you're stuck. He was in Hollywood for many, many years. I don't know what that man did with men. I don't know what that man did with women. But they accuse him. And they try him, and they find him guilty, and now he's going to go to prison. 80, how the year of 81, 82, I don't know. That's a shame to our people. And our people didn't talk before until the case is over. Everybody want to talk bullshit. And everybody that spoke to me about him, I told him, he's going to go to jail. Because he's not saying anything. Who the hell somebody going to accuse you and you're not saying anything? Why are you not saying anything? Do you have anything to say, sir? No. I'm smiling. Come on now. Smiling like, hey, it's no big thing. Do you know what is prison? That's where Satan live. That's where Satan dwell. And Satan teach those people things up in there. See, many years ago I worked for the prison. So I know what they do. I was a chef for the prison many years ago. I was 18, 19, 20 years of age when I cook for the prison. I heard a conversation, all type of crazy stuff. So you don't know what's gonna happen up in there. Maybe three months he gone, six months he fade away. And everybody remains silent again until another one come. And it's gonna start happening to the preachers. There's a bunch of Uncle Tom preachers out there that is doing some crazy stuff and it's going to come out sooner or later. 
so my people can understand what is taking place. See, they're not going to overstand until a big sudden destruction come. Boom! Because they've been locked up in their Jesus for so long. See the white man Jesus? They locked up in that Jesus for so long. They're, don't matter what you say. Don't matter what you say, you can't tell them nothing. Because they're locked up in that white man Jesus. And when you lock in the white man Jesus, there's a whole bunch of tumbling and, and going on. And that's the problem we have. That's the problem we have with our people. They locked up and tangled up and tied up with Jesus. So by they locked up and tangled up and tied up with Jesus, don't matter what you say. They ain't gonna get out from all they need to Jesus. And all them preachers is talk, talking all this crazy stuff. They fooled the people for so long with the big lie. And the people believe the lies that they taught them many years gone with no proof of evidence. So our people stuck with the lie. And they can't get out from underneath the lie. And when you throw them the proof from the lie, they do not want to overstand. They still believe in the preachers. They still believe that Jesus is a white man. And they still believe the name Jesus is the name of the Son of God. So when the mind becomes sick, you have a problem. Just like they're saying, Bill Cosby mind have been sick. He's a sexual predator. Because he had a sick, sick mind. So he get his kick off of intoxicating women and have sexual intercourse with them. And not one of those ladies get pregnant. Sixty ladies. And not one of them get pregnant. So did he have sexual intercourse with these people? Did he have sexual in intercourse with these people? Or we do some sort of filthy stuff? Because not one of them get pregnant. And not one of them go to the doctor. And not one of them call the police. So that's what I'm saying to my people. That's how they're going to lock all our people down. That have a little bit of power in the white man world. So for those of you that is out there, your time is going to come too. And that's what these white people do. They did that with Marcus Garvey. They did, they did that with a lot of people. So you can't, you can't sit back and watch these people with their wrong going on and try to slap our people down and you're not doing anything. Huh? You're not doing nothing when they slap our people down. All you're going to do is call them Blue eyed white man devil. That bullshit doesn't work anymore. We got to do like them. The black lawyers and the black judge, when they come before you, I don't care what they do, put them in jail. Put them in prison. Because that's what they do with our people. As I said in past program, you have to do as the white men do. 
However they do things, we have to do it the same way. If they beat you, you got to beat them. If they kill you, you got to kill them. If they kill your babies, you got to kill your babies. It's very simple. Because that's what they do. They do wrong to our people. And they kill thousands and thousands of our people. And there's nobody save. How come to save our people? So the point what I'm making, we can't just sit back and let them do all the bullshit they want to do with our people. And then we make a little rebel and we cry a little bit. And then we go and we praise God and do all that crazy stuff. No, wake up, black man. Wake up. And stop Let the white men do what they want to do with you. The point of what I'm making to you. This man have sexual intercourse with 60 female. Not one of the female go to the police because it's assault, right? It's not consent sexual intercourse. None of them went to the doctor because it, it's a rape. Rape, you go to the doctor and you call police. Or they take you to the doctor and then they call the police. And none of these rape, the police have not in, intervene. So you see what I'm saying? That's how they're trying to put you down. So the white man is setting an example that you don't mess with his white woman. If it take 20 years, we're going to put your ass in jail. So how the men can get up in there and do what you did, do what you, do what you did to the woman, those men can do the same thing to you. Because he's going to be in the general population. No matter how much money he has. So maybe they call him a whole lady. I don't know. But the point when I'm making, this man is smiling like he's, he's happy, smiling. Why the hell are you smiling when you... When you're before the enemies, <coughs> the enemy is going to sentence you. Why are you smiling? They sentence you to death. Huh? They are sentencing you to death. So why are you smiling and go up in there playing Mickey Mouse? We all know you're a comedian, but when you go before the white man, you don't do no comedian shit. Cause they're glad to lock your ass up. Because you're setting an example for the rest of black men that is going with all these white ladies. And you know what they're telling you? You mess with our white women, we gonna put you in jail. Okay? So what I'm saying, let's see if we can rally and get him out of jail. Don't talk that evidence was not showed up or whatever. You should do, you should do that before the case is tried. And after the case is over, you're going to come up with your bullshit. Where were you? Man got so much money he's trying to try to try to mess around with he could go get some the prettiest prostitute. He got a wife. Huh? He got a wife. All that took place and he got a wife. Was he a adulterer? Was he a fornicator? But those are not the Answer. The answer is that the white man is setting an example for you. 
And by they setting that example, it's telling the rest of black people, the black man, and also the black ladies that's going with all these white men, that we have planned for you. We got planned for you. So you keep on messing with our black white ladies. We got planned for you. So what I'm saying, look man, be good. That's all I can say. And try to see if we can help the brother. He didn't come to see me, so I don't know if I want to help him. But sometimes you got to use magical power to overshadow these judge. You know why they wear black robe? Because they are afraid of the demons that you can send to them and overpower them. So they lose their thought when they're judging you. So you, you have to be free. But if you don't know none of that, I can't tell you nothing. Because a lot of people have it in books now. They have a lot of stuff in books. And you forget the person who wrote the book, he wrote it from his mind. What he see and he thought. See, he wrote a book. I wrote a book, it's the same. My thought, my seeing, and my doing. So now, it's, it's up to you to read it and get the thought and my seeing and my doing from the book. And if you want to go write a book from what you get from my book, it's up to you. Peace, I'm out of here. Respect.